Hello, so today is going to be a wet, slick, back, straight hair tutorial. Now, um, I do already have my hair fully brushed. It is brushed through. Now, I have my strainer right here. I'm going to mainly work on straining my ends of my hair because that's going to be the main part that's going to show. The top really won't matter for me since I will be adding product to that. So I have my strainer right here and I'm basically just going to part my hair and just focus really on the ends, except when I get towards the top part. The top part is where it's going to be a tiny bit different because I'm going to strain it in a kind of a different angle rather than a typical way that I would. And the tools that I'll be using today is obviously a hairbrush and then a kind of a slick brush, a styling brush. So something like this with the bristles that'll help really push back the hair. Or you can use something that is wider but in the same way um so something like this one right here so you see it has the same bristles and everything but it is much bigger than the other one both of them are going to work great i am using some mousse and obviously i'm using my aussie volume hairspray so like that, it can really hold it, give it that volume, and because it was requested in this video. So just like this hairstyle was kindly requested, so was the Aussie hairspray. Um, so those are the main factors for this video. Now, always remember to have um, any heat product on your hair. You want to protect your hair as much as you possibly can. I went ahead and already did that. I just use um, heat protectant serums and really focus on applying them on my ends. So whatever you have at home is what you can use. You do not need to have super expensive serums or products. Um, as long as you are doing something to protect your hair, that's what counts. So it is super simple just strain out your bottom of your hair mainly because that's going to be the main focus and do that throughout the whole hair now once you reach this crown part right here is where it's going to get different so let me work my way up and then i'll show you guys what i mean okay so i do have this whole bottom strained out and this whole top piece is where we are going to really kind of strain it, but in a tiny bit different matter. So I went ahead and brushed that out quickly. Now I'm going to start with my sides. Now the way to strain this out is I'm going to be grabbing sections. And we're going to actually strain it backwards. So instead of straining it downwards, which is the norm, I am grabbing my sections and going back and straining through. So Placing my strainer on the hair flat, grabbing it, and then straining backwards. That is what gets done on these side pieces. And it's really going to help for them to kind of stay slicked since that is kind of the way that you are already straining them. So it'll really just help them stay towards that direction even more. So once again, 
kind of part it, grab my strainer, place it, and straighten straight back. Then again, grab it and straighten straight back. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> But I'm basically placing it and then moving back. So placing it, turning, and moving back. Now this top piece that I have right here is where I'm going to grab sections from the back. And the way we're going to straighten this is by grabbing the strainer and kind of giving it like a little bit of volume at the root, just like that. And then just straight back straighten. So get your pieces, give them volume, and you can always be adding spray as you volume it up like this. So volume it, hold it right there, grab your spray. right under on top and then strain out the rest so if you can tell I'm not kind of going back over that piece that I volumed up I'm just really letting the heat sit so the hair kind of sits in that manner and I am just passing it on the other pieces and I know I look super crazy right now because I have all this hair in my face. But basically, you don't look cute until your hairstyle is done. So, that is the process for this whole section right here. And if you can tell, that kind of already added that bump. So, that is great. So, I'm going to show you once more and then I'll finish this off and then we can proceed with the styling. So, strainer. You're going to grab it, add your volume, and then hold it, spray underneath, hold it a little bit more so it can really set, and then this bottom piece we're gonna go ahead and straighten out and then we're gonna release and like I said that gives it that really nice bump now I'm gonna go ahead and do this and once I'm done I'll be right back I lied so I'm gonna show you guys this one real quick because I know that Maybe there's going to be someone wondering if I'm still doing that little volume hack um, on this section. And yes, so it is the same front section. Brushed it back and I'm just grabbing my strainer and twisting upwards. Okay, so might as well show you guys because it's kind of a main part on the face or on the hairstyle so might as well um now just going to go ahead straighten this pieces out all right so now that i have that 
I'm going to go ahead and let that sit a tiny bit while I grab some mousse and really focus it on the side parts. And I know that right now it looks like we have a mullet, but don't worry, that will change. And then I'm gonna go ahead and obviously add some to this portion that we volumed up. And that's gonna give it that wet look on the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pass my brush straight back. And then do the same for the top. So personally, this is a hairstyle that I do not like on myself because um, I do have a big forehead. So I kind of tend to stray away from styles like this that really accentuate the forehead. Uh, but it is a very nice style for those who it suits much better than what it does on me. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do it on myself so like that you guys can learn it or you guys can kind of have an idea um, on how you can achieve it on yourself. And hopefully it looks beautiful on you or on somebody that you may be doing it on. And if you do want more volume on this section right here, you can always tease it. So you can always go ahead and part it quickly. And if you can tell, it's just mainly this top section. So you can go ahead and part it and then tease. Add some spray, then go ahead and part that right down. And tease. I know it looks super messy. I know, I know, guys. I promise once uh, the piece goes on it, it won't. So this style, I personally think it looks so much nicer when it's teased. Um, I think it really adds that volume to it. Well, obviously it does, right? But it just adds that like glam look in my eyes rather than just having it like super slick, straight, 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 flat back. I personally really enjoy this style on others, not myself, with a little bit of tease. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference, but it is more volumized compared to what it was. And there is the slicked back wet 
style look. I'm going to go ahead and get a tiny bit closer to you. Um, if you want it to look wet all throughout, all you have to do is add the mousse throughout your hair. In the same manner, do not scrunch it unless you want it to have like those waves. But if you want a straight wet look, do not scrunch it when applying it. Because then if you do have naturally wavy hair or naturally curly hair, it will, you know, take off the straight part that you just did. And um, unless you want it like that, like I said, go ahead and do it. But if that is not what you're wanting and you do want it to look a wet straight, you know, apply it downwards in a flat way. And then you can always add hairspray to it. If you do not like the way hairspray makes your hair feel, if it makes it feel too rough or whatever, then you can always use a flex spray or you can just skip the hairspray part. As well as mousse. If you don't like mousse because um, it leaves your hair really... Um, paludo. <laughs> if it leaves it really... Um, crunchy but leaves it really hard there you go my english to spanish spanish to english was not working i had to think of it so um if it leaves it super crunchy and you just do not like it um go ahead and like i said look for flex mousse um they do have some that are meant to not leave your hair crunchy or lose or look for a spray that will give you that wet look without leaving your hair um, feeling like that these two though I do not notice that they leave my hair feeling like that my hair is very movable as you could tell I was easily able to repart it and tease it so these this spray and then I am using the um Gantu shea butter um mousse so this is my husband's he does have curly hair so I just use his and I like it because it actually will give me that wet look without messing with my hair. Even though it is for curly hair, it will just basically accentuate the hair texture that is on, that is already there, that it's getting put onto. And, you know, it makes it look really, really nice. So this is that mousse that I'm using. And um, once again, spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn around so that you can see the back. So it gives that straight look. It's not super wavy or anything. And it's nice and put back. Non-frizzy. Super cute. Um, like I said, I love this hairstyle on others. Just not on myself. But yeah. So all you can do is add some really cute accessories, um, nice makeup if you are into like super contour or natural, however you want to do it. Just, you know, really adding your accessories to the look and pairing it very nicely with whatever you're going to wear. And there it is. Super simple. It's not that hard to complete. Um, it's really just making it work for your face and for the amount of hair that you have. So obviously if you have um, shorter hair, it's super easy to do. You don't have to really um, worry too much because it will stay except for the part that since it's shorter, it may come to the front. So you could always kind of add clips to the bottom so that the top hair will cover it and it will stay super slick back so in case if you have shorter hair and you can't get the style, you can always add some clips like right in this section and then the top hair can always cover it and it'll just look like that. So like I said, my hair is super movable still. It doesn't feel um, like I have a thousand pounds of product on it. It feels very, you know, nice and soft. So these two products are great 
for achieving this look because it doesn't give you that texture. If that is the texture you are looking for, obviously look for extra hold, strong hold products. Those are going to be your go-tos. So I really hope that you liked it. Thank you for watching. Until next time.